Before we start, Mr. Ponyani, we needed to do that interpretation, right? Yes, yes. And then, yes. Yes, you can proceed with that then. Ellen, so 
And this also the same as being provided to the defense. Okay, I also need a copy. I don't want the original because the original is going to be for, for yes, the purpose uh, of trial, right? I need right? a copy for the uh, court. I need the copy as well. The defense, yeah. Thank you. Do you want to stay me here? I've not been exhibit um, G. I will put the court. And then. Um,
Yes, so. Yes, um, uh, before I proceed, I should probably say what is to uh, state a uh, few things on record uh, Firstly, thank uh, you to uh, Boroda Chachi uh, for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Look at the annex. <coughs> the fourth annex. Confirm me, okay. Confirm me. The proceedings were uh, for bail on your facts. However, yesterday my colleague, uh, Mr. Advocate Damini, uh, raised Advocate Damini raised a point in Lemon uh, as it was uh, categorized by the court. Uh, on a technical issue, um, uh, arguing the, the the fact that, or rather, from the defence side, uh, the view that uh, the charges, particularly uh, the fourth count, uh, does not apply in relation to uh, accused number one and two, and therefore uh, the matter is not a scheduled, or rather, a scheduled five matter. Um, the said um, advocate uh, uh, argued on that basis and uh, there was um, uh, a response from the state side. Uh, however, your ship um, and, and furthermore, a, a witness was put in the box to, for, for examination by, by the court and, uh, and, and led by the state and crossed by the cross-examined by the by the defense. Uh, your ship, uh, uh, this all um, came subsequent to the, the charge, the charge is preferred against the uh, accused one and two, uh, in that uh, initially the, the, fourth, the fourth count was, um, was, was uh, thought to have been, uh, to, to be substantiated. Uh, however, when, when the said fourth count uh, was uh, preferred, Your Worship, by the 2 and 2 statement and further investigations and so forth uh, were not provided, were not uh, already uh, made available to the state. The uh, matter had to be postponed for further investigations. And uh, yesterday the 2 and 2 statement uh, was uh, placed before the court. Um, and has been handed to the court and attached to the a copy thereof attached to the charge sheet as an exhibit and uh, same was also provided to my to my um, to my colleagues uh, indicating that uh, the firearm that was um, that was used on the same day on the 5th of August 2024 um, was a if I can get the, the proper wording in the court of the is a part. The firearm that was, uh, well, one of the firearms that were <coughs> that were found or uh, used on the same day or in the possession of, or allegedly in the possession of accused one and two, uh, the two and two statement uh, in the ballistic report indicated that it's a um, one nine millimeter. PAK caliber uh, dialogue or model AK9 fully automatic blank firing assault rifle and uh, with, with a magazine. Now, based on the 2 and 2, thank you, Shep, based on the 2 and 2, uh, the state is of the view that um, the matter is. 
or rather the firearm concerned does not fall under section 4 uh, paragraph A of the Farm Controls Act uh, and that uh, this section does not speak about does not talk about a, a replica or a blank firing uh, gun and therefore the state worship does concede that it is um, if, if uh, the, the count four uh, is not substantiated by a ballistic report, uh, uh, therefore you should by this matter uh, and the initial bail uh, ought to have been an unshared bail application. And um, therefore the owners ought to have um, from the onset uh, been on the state uh, however, uh, as, uh, as, as indicated, uh, when the charges were preferred, uh, I'll re reiterate which is, uh, the 2 and 2 statement was not placed, was not uh, in the position of the state, hence, hence the fourth count was preferred against the uh, accused 1 and 2. And of course, uh, the other, um, as applicant 1 and 2, and their third co accused, your worship. And therefore, your ship, uh, it, um, from, the, from the instructions that I received from the SPP, the, the DPP, and, uh, and so forth, your ship was that uh, the state concede is not a shadow of five matter, uh, and the matter can proceed on the basis of, um, um, of being unshadowed. Thank you. Thank you. Is it Lamin, you like to respond? <laughs> Your Worship, uh, we apply for the pay because there is no longer expected to fight. Thank you. All right, seeing the developments then coming arising from the state side, they therefore has considered, as Mr. Villacalli says, has received the instruction from the DPP as well as his SPP. They confirmed that the four count number four remains unscheduled, and therefore all the other counts, I believe, we uh, we, we agree that is count. It's uh, the schedule one, and it further confirms that initially they were under the impression that the firearm, because we didn't have the two and two back then, it was a fully semi-automatic firearm. But now it does not fall under the the said firearm does not fall under the firearms control act therefore making the said bail application now a schedule one. Now what that means is that schedule five, it was the applicants who needed to show this court that it is in the interest of justice that they be admitted to bail, which initially they did fail to do so. But now with these developments, it means that with the point in limine of the technicality that the defense have provided before this court and the state therefore conceding, the court does accept by the mere fact of that count being therefore being unscheduled, it is a new fact. The court is therefore satisfied. And now, if the state is still proceeding with the bail, it means that the owners therefore shifts, which means the state then must tell us whether they have an objection with the accused being released or not. Therefore, the burden is no longer on the accused one and two. It's therefore now on the state. Yes. Uh, as a piece of court, um, Your Worship, uh, the state is not opposed to the release of the accused person on bail, uh, subject to um, appropriate conditions. Um, same can be determined by the court. Uh, the state would have no objection to, um, to the conditions preferred by the court. Yes, sir, because I mean you have to submit uh, any we, submissions. We, we, we are not opposed to the court setting the conditions. And uh, <coughs> the condition you worship should allow the applicants to be able to do their social responsibilities. They have 
a number of work they are doing. For an example, in the hostel, they have this, they had a project where they put in lights and others to assist in that. So we would like that the condition should not really prevent them from doing, helping the community worship. And then the bail amount? Uh, we had to put the, put the bail amount to worship to for the first applicant we put uh, three thousand worship and uh, I would like to refer to the second applicant to worship. He's just a worker. Uh, the court could grant him just a, a free day. Worship um, the amount and, and, and so forth to deliver in the cost sense, the worship safe to say that uh, suitable conditions the worship that will uh, uh, be incentive enough for accused one and two to attend uh, their pending trial uh, are also um, will also be uh, suitable worship for or to be attached to that page. <coughs> I'm still keeping the date of the 21st of October. Yes, so that hasn't changed. Uh, say court DC, this is the court two <coughs> for further investigations. <laughs>
Okay, number one and two, please stand. Due to the developments that have been brought forth forward by the state and considering to the fact that crown number four is therefore unscheduled and then the matter before this court based on the point in limine raised by your defense that it is not a schedule five, it's not a schedule one. The owners therefore shifts to the state. The state is not opposing your release on bail. However, they request strict conditions in that regard. So the court will fix bail conditions. You must come back to this court on the 21st of October, 2024. District Court number two, the journalism court that side. Excuse number one, your bail is fixed amount of 3,000 rand. As the defense said, that's how much you can afford. Accused number two, you are released on warning and warned to appear. Half past eight, district court number two. Subject to the following conditions. You are to have no content, direct or indirect. You don't send, you don't Twitter, you don't tweet, you don't SMS, you don't DM. You don't contact the witnesses of this case from count number one to 12. You do not, you are prohibited from entering at that school, the primary school where this incident transpired. Are we understood? Mr. Poyane?